Hey everyone, Matt Pisarsik from RazorEmporium.com. Today to talk to you about Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. So Phoenix Artisan started its life off as How to Grow a Mustache and Pedal Pusher Fancies. These were two different companies uh, kind of being operated by uh, the, the two now co-owners, uh, Francis and Douglas, uh, and they decided to join forces and start a new brand, Phoenix Artisan, when they made the move out here to Arizona. And I think that Phoenix is kind of like this rebirth, this whole kind of revitalization of their of their soap making operation. And uh, the result has been a very, very cool line of products that is always new and emerging. They are always up to a new scent, a new kind of idea. I think it's one of the most creative companies in the industry, uh, always pushing the envelope of what is possible from uh, shaving soap, from aftershaves, uh, but so much more than that. They have razors, they have um, mustache and other grooming accessories. Uh, one of the coolest new things I love is this brush soap. It's actually a soap to clean off your brush. So that's awesome to keep your brush lasting as long as possible. Uh, cool scuttle that's very, very uh, you know, user friendly from the standpoint of your average wet shaver. You can fill it up with hot water and keep your, your soap warm and has these great ridges inside to help generate some traction as you're making a, a lather. Um, but just overall, uh, I think some of the things they're known for are really, really good lather performances. Lathers are uh, very quick to spring up to life, easy to make a lather with, slick, comfortable, moisturizing, but also very, very interesting scent profiles. They're one of the only companies that I know on this kind of small artisan scale that are doing so much custom blending, but also more than that, I know that they even do some distilling. I think they have a small distill uh, or still where they can actually make their own uh, fragrances and, and oils out of whatever they dream up. So if they want to do a cactus fruit and watermelon, you're just pulling two ideas out of my head, they can, they can do that. So a uh, very, very interesting company. Uh, some of my favorites, I mean, they have this, this great one, Sun Down. It's kind of a take off of Gillette's Sun Up from the 1960s. It's got that classic throwback uh, kind of barbershop smell. They have things like Gondolier. I mean, total throwback to a, a great Italian kind of smell to it. Um, Cad, this is a play off of the uh, classic barbershop scent. It's a kind of a, a homage to Barbasol. Uh, never, I've only smelled this in the store. I've actually never made a lather with this particular one. I have several of these at home and I've used several, but I'm looking forward to this one. I think I'm also going to use their scuttle. So even though it's not hot, I'll kind of get the benefit of the traction in here with my brush. Get some product here, load my brush. So I've used the product at home um, for years and I've used it here for demos and stuff in the store and always been in, uh, in very impressed with the performance. I know they've had different versions of their soap over the years, they've kind of always perfecting it and that's the nature of a small business. One of the great things about supporting a, a local artisan, a small kind of company like this, is that it's not a soap that's made by the millions and that's just what it is and it's been packaged up five years ago and you're buying something that's old. You know, they are, they are a company that's going to be producing stuff, um, you know, all the time and they're going to be improving things all the time. And I remember years ago when it was How to Grow a Mustache, it was very good performing soap. You know, we even did some work with that name with the older product we had. But when they switched to Phoenix Artisan, I noticed a, a really big difference in lather quality, and so did our customers. I think they really perfected it with this stuff. So they also have another brand called Crown King, and I, I'm not 100% uh, sure exactly what the difference is. I know that they kind of put different uh, scents under some names. I think like the, the Sundown is under Crown King, whereas these other ones are Phoenix Artisan. And I think one of the uh, one of the main differences is the cocum butter is is kind of a defining characteristic between the two. I've also kind of noticed a more of a theme, like some of the artwork on the 
um, Crown King stuff is, is different looking than the regular Phoenix Artisan. So I've made a great lather here. I'm kind of just smoothing it out at this point. Some long kind of strokes. But as you can see, I mean, it's got great cushion. It's got great peaks. It feels like whipped cream, which is the exact consistency you're going for. Um, hydrated, and I've personally used it for, you know, dozens and dozens of shaves, and I've always been impressed with the shave quality from Phoenix Artisan. So if you haven't already checked out, uh, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, give them a shot. We carry many of the products here at Razor Emporium. We can't carry every scent that they come out with, but we do keep up and try to keep some of the most popular and some of the most uh, in-demand scents in our store. You can always check our website for what we currently stock from them. Uh, I'm Matt from Razor Emporium. Thanks so much for watching today. Like, comment, subscribe, and let us know what you want to see down in the comments. We'll see you next time, guys. Thank you for watching.